Hi everyone, welcome to today's live. We're gonna be doing some unboxing today. I'm really excited. I'm gonna to try to do this like once a week for you guys just to kind of give you guys some background. I was hoping to be down in my basement with the, the supplies down there, but I realized that the uh, <clears throat> reception, because it was far away from my internet. Hello. Zim, how do you say your name? Zimibo? Um, I realized that downstairs in my basement, it was really bad reception. And up here is much better reception. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it upstairs. Maybe eventually I'll try to do it downstairs so that way I can be in front of my supplies. But this is my fireplace. <laughs> Hope you guys like it. Let me know where you guys are from. If you have any questions, this is kind of just the time for you guys to come and chat and especially for members because one of the benefits is having some lives and eventually call me call you jazz okay perfect so call you jazz um hi jazz uh is to have some live streams so if you have any questions if you're a member you can pop it you're from ohio welcome you can pop it in the members only chat beforehand i will make sure i get to those questions when we do our lives for you so today I got a box from Jerry's Art Supplies, I think. I'm not exactly sure. Art Sarama or something like that. So I wanted to do all of the Posca, like a post on all of the Posca markers. And I had bought these originally. These are just eight. Hi, Mysterio Rons. It's nice to have you here. So I had bought these originally. Am I feeling better? I am. Thank you so much. And, but then my kids are sick. So we got feeling better and then we got something else. It's just been super crazy up here. Like everybody is getting sick. I feel like we get over something and then we get something else. I don't know if you guys, it's like that where you guys are. Like, is it, you know, is all this stuff just hitting all at once? It is, but I can, you can probably hear it in my voice that I don't sound super nasally anymore, which is super nice. But so I bought these other Posca's and I was like, these have to be it. This has to be how many colors are in Posca. And I was wrong. You haven't got six since May. You are so lucky. Um, that, that is very nice. I wish I could say the same. I've gotten sick twice. So, um, but so I was trying to find all the postcards. I was like, I'll just do a video on the postcards. And then I was doing my research and there's like over 50 colors. And I was like, how do I get all these colors? So last week, if you saw that live downstairs, I got this box, these all individual ones from Blick because they were having a sell on their Black Friday. So I ordered some from Jerry's and I actually opened this box already because I got it Tuesday. I was just very excited, but I'm going to show you what's in it. So I ordered two Posca pens from here. So these are the dark Posca pens. So I think you can only get, let's see, ochre. Oh, these might not. Oh, sorry, the light ones are where you can only get. You can only, I unfortunately I had to miss the remainder of the shift and I got a fever as soon as I got home in May. Oh, I'm sorry. You had a fever when you got home. I'm sorry about that. Um, this is where the only place you can get apricot. So, and these ones are the dark colors. So as opposed to the light colors, you have the dark colors. And then these are the like standard colors in here. So I had ordered from Jerry's some glitter ones. Uh, and guess what? They're not here. So I called them. They're like, we're out of stock. I'm like, that's great. I had a video to do. So they're selling them individually, but they didn't send me those. They just didn't put them in my order and I had to call them and I'm like, how come you didn't let me know? There was, I would order them from Blick cause they had them like by themselves. I could have ordered them by themselves from Blick. Um, during this time, one of my coworkers was also sick, more severe than me and she was confined to the couch. I know people are getting so sick right now. Everyone who's out there, who's not feeling good. I hope you get better. I hope you will get what's going around cause it's not been fun. <laughs> so I ordered, the glitter ones and they didn't come. So I really wanted to do this video. I was gonna have it ready for this Saturday, but the markers didn't come. So I ended up ordering them from Joann's and I paid like 
instead of I think I had bought them for $20 on Jerry's and I'm paying $30. I was like, I just wanted them. Amazon wasn't gonna get here until January. And I was like, I really wanna get this video done. So the next thing I got from Jerry's Art Supply, I want to go through and test a whole bunch of watercolor papers. So this one is uh, hot press paper. And then we have, a rough pressed and I actually have there's a green one of this that I got at Blick this summer and this the other one is a cold press and this is like super expensive paper that I really just wanted to try and see how it works so I'm going to be doing some swatches with these um, maybe some drawings and that kind of stuff so look out for that and I don't know if they felt bad they didn't have my Posca stuff but um they sent me this. I guess that makes up a little bit for not having my postcard markers. But it's New York Central 100% cotton watercolor paper. And we have cold, hot, and rough press. So we can also try this one. So that would be interesting. So that was everything from Jerry's. Very sad. Because basically I ordered this stuff. Canon Bristol Board for Alcohol Marker Designs. Okay, I will put that on my list. Canson Bristol Board. I have something similar. I have a Canson, but I'll have to try the Bristol Board. So um, I bought this paper just so I could get free shipping for the postcard pens. I'm like, great. Because then I ended up paying shipping from Joanne's form. That's okay. They're going to come next week. So we'll do on that unboxing next week. So I was a little, like, I get packages. That's what I got this week. Um, I don't think I got anything else. And I showed you what I got last week. Uh, and I wanted to kind of show you, since I haven't done this before, in the last month or so, what I've gotten. Uh, so I'm just gonna pull some stuff out of this bag. It's a lovely little Target bag right here. So we'll just pull things out. Um, all right, I got these. These are from Zebra. I just did a post with them yesterday on Instagram. You should or was it two days ago? You should check it out if you haven't. Um, these are their brush. So this is 25 brush and I didn't have this package before. I had all the markers, but I didn't have them in one package and I'm really excited because I use their mild liners for my planner. Um, and these ones are the brush. So I'm really excited for that. I'm gonna try to do some fun stuff with those this year. All right, so I'm a little Postgres obsessed. I think I got this from Blick earlier. This is all their white pens. So when I do the postco review next week, I'll do this and I might even do, like let me know if you guys want a video just by itself for the postco white pens. Uh, where did I get these? I got these from Blick. And I will put a link to Blick below because they're actually, um, you have to spend a certain amount to qualify for free shipping, but their prices are great. I get stuff from them all the time. I'm always like Blick. I prefer Blick over Amazon because I know that Blick is getting stuff from the suppliers. And on Amazon, sometimes you don't know if stuff is fake or people are, you know, pretending to be whatever. So uh, that's it. Okay, so let's go more mild liners. I got these from, this is, do I have another package? I, I thought I had another package. I probably do. Maybe I didn't make it in here. So um, this is the mile liners. Um, there's probably one more package because there's supposed to be 30 of them. Mile liners. I know they're the best. So check out the video I did on Instagram with them. I was so excited to do it. So we did all 30 of their mile liners, but I'm not seeing the other one. So it probably didn't make it into the bag. Sorry. Oops. Okay but you can check out the video and check out all 30 of those. All right, so we're gonna pull out something from Crayola. I wanna do a video on this one. I bought these off of Crayola.com. You can find a lot of cool stuff on Crayola.com that you can't necessarily find in the store. These ones are neon light effect markers. Mild liners I got from Zebra. They were a sample. So a sample is like when a company sends you stuff. These ones I bought myself, but these ones they sent me. So I'll let you know when I go through like what people sent me versus what I bought. But I bought these off of Crayola.com. Really tried to, excited to try these glow, 
neon lights. So I'm not sure if they glow in the dark. They actually have a paint pen in here, which is weird because I didn't know if Crayola had one. So we'll try to find, we'll try these, see how they work. Um, the next thing I'm gonna show you is a little note from Sharpie. So all the stuff that I'm gonna show you next is from Sharpie. So they sent me a package and they said, thank you for your content, which was super nice of them. Um, so Sharpie, if you don't know, owns like Paper Me. They're part of Newell and they, um, it's, I'll just show you some of their products. So this is something they sent me, scented sticks. So we have scented glue sticks right here. Um, these are so cool. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is kids like trying to eat the glue, but I think if you just emphasize that this is only for, ooh, it smells really good. If it's only for using when you're like um, gluing stuff, I think they'll hopefully understand. But, and then we've got an orange. You got your portrait pack, Jazz? That's so awesome. I love them. Have you used them a lot? Grape, we have grape. So Elmer's is under that Newell brand, same as Sharpie. Limeade. And we have uh, tropical orange. And then we've got strawberry. So no watermelon. But I'm really excited to use this glue. I feel like, I don't know, next year if my the teachers want glue should I just <laughs> send in some of these sticks and be like hey it's scented but it's okay right I don't know I don't think I'll need glue for a long time hey um the giveaway for the sharpies Mandy has already been done I have contacted the winners and two of the winners have gotten their items so far and the last one is going to get theirs but I have some more giveaways coming up and if you guys see something here that you want giveaway swatched and use your video to write the names on them yay i'm so excited jazz that you wrote the names on them um if you want anything here like as a giveaway let me know that i'm showing you because i'm trying to think of ideas for the next giveaway that's gonna hopefully come this week all right so this is the next thing from sharpie so i did not buy these um they sent them to me we've got 24.9 millimeter mechanical pencils Again, I probably won't need pencils for a while. I love writing supplies though. They're my favorite. Okay, so next we have is our flare pens from Paper Mate, which is also under the Newell brand. Uh, these, there's, sweet, yeah. <laughs> there's more than these colors and I have a video on all the Paper Mate or a blog post on all of those that you can check out. Trying to find all the sharpest stuff. Okay, um, these are Paper May Profile Gel Pens, which I've never tried, so I'm very excited to give these a try. And then, what are these? Sorry, I forgot. You got those too? Oh, that's cool. Do you like them? Uh, we have Mystic Gems. So this is a five pack of Mystic Gems. Uh, I, the Mystic Gems are really cool. I love that Sharpie's expanding their color palette this year. We're up to like 77 colors. So we have more flare. So let's look at the difference. Um, this is 0.7, this is 0.7. So, um, these are, are there different colors in here? Yeah, oh hey, yeah? Okay, do you want to go take a nap by Allison? Okay, you can just sit here and watch, okay? You have these too, Mandy? They're so cool. My daughter's going to join us. You might hear her say, comment on some of these things. She's not going to be in the video, though. Okay. The next one we have, ooh, this, I'm really excited for these. The Sharpie Roller Pen. So we have the Paper Mate Gel. I should compare. I did a comparison of all the it's like felt tip, but I have I have been a little scared to undertake the pen because there's so many out there, and I would just get overwhelmed. I think. All right. Um, I feel like that's all from Sharpie. Yes, sweetie.
Thanks for the fireplace. Yeah, Mandy. What do you want, sweetie? Oh, we did get one more thing from um, Newell. It was Elmer's Goo. And we've already used one of these, and my kids loved it. It got everywhere, even on my sweater. But that's the way slime is. Okay, the next thing we, I got, this is a sample from Casely. Actually, the Power Pot is not in here because I opened it and used it. I was kind of disappointed with the Power Pot. It didn't last that long. I thought... Like, it only used one charge, so I felt like I had to charge this as much as I would a phone. So I wasn't too impressed with that, but maybe people have had different experiences. So, Make Art from Casely. And then we've got Casely Bold. So this is an iPhone case. They did a special collaboration with Crayola. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna put one of these on my phone. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, you can still get them on Casely. So here we go. Here's from Casely. I don't know which one to put on. I should just... Yeah, they are so pretty, aren't they? I don't know. Which one do you guys like better? I don't know. I like the flowers, but then I like how this is just kind of scribbles. That's why I chose it. Yes, sweetie? We want to pick the flowers for your phone. Oh, okay. You want to hold the flowers right now? Okay, we got, you like the right one, the right one. Okay, so the flowers one or this one? It's hard for me to tell which one is right because I don't know if it's opposite for you guys. So let me know flowers or scribbles. Okay. All right, so this is the next one. I bought this patches, the flowers, you guys, come on. You're saying different things. This, the flowers. Oh, I got two votes for flowers. I'll have to try it on my phone. Okay, I got this off of Crayola.com. I also already have a box like this, but they've put different uh, crayons in here. There's actually, I think, six different type of packs, but I just wanted this because I collect the boxes. Uh, something else I bought from Crayola, I'm obsessed, <laughs> was um, Creativity Week, which is coming up in January. Oh. It's just a t-shirt to wear. I thought it'd be fun to wear it. And then something else I found on their website was watercolor crayons. So they're available in 16 colors and they have a paintbrush. And also let me know, that is cool. Yeah, isn't this cool? I was like, you know, I just go on their website and I'm like, what can I buy today? Or Blick and I'm, I just buy lots of stuff. Okay. And then next, this one was a sample from the, oh, I'll, I'll do that in just a minute. Ooh, this goes on our tree. This was a cute little Christmas ornament that I found on Crayola.com. I was like, I have to get this ornament. It looks so cute. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Here, I'll give it to my daughter so she can put it on the tree. Okay. And then this is a sample from Zebra. So I'm trying to differentiate between sample and not. Let's see. I have not opened this yet. Oh, yeah? Cute. Yeah, so these are like a uh, fine liner, which is, I really like them. Or you can use them to draw things with. So they, they have a dual function. This is the case for them. You can buy them individually in packs, and I will probably arrange them in color order because it's driving me crazy because they're not in color order right now. I have another daughter walking in the room. They're both, we're supposed to be at school today. I scheduled this during their school time. How about maroon and burnt orange? Charles, what do you mean maroon and burnt orange? For what? So, um, I will probably put these in color order. Um, so that way they'll be in color order, but I'll be posting about these soon. I have a video on all the click art if you want to check those out. Right, named them all because I don't believe these ones have the names on them. They're in Japanese. You have the click art pens. Color order, yes. We will definitely put these in color order. I don't know, we should do it today, mate. Right? Okay, and then the next one we have is dry erase markers, which 
I bought and I realized I've already bought twice. So kind of, I get it in my head. I'm like, oh, I should buy something. Maroon is a darker red shade and burnt orange is a darker orange. Yes. One in like an ultramaroon blue. What are we talking about? Like shirts or what, what are we talking about? The colors. I'm not, maybe I said something and I forgot. Okay. This is another thing I got from Open the Joy. They have really cool boxes for uh, like activities. So it's slime, click art pens. Oh, do, is there a maroon one? Um, I'd have to check my swatch chart for that, but there's one that is probably the maroon color. Okay, all right. Do you want to see the click out? The other daughter wants to see. Oh, she wants to see the putty. Uh, They're all very interested in what I have in here. Daddy. Okay. And then this is also from Open the Joy. These are, oh, like how to deal with like certain emotions, confidence, anger, conversation, and kindness. So I should take these out and have some conversations with kiddos. All right, we're almost on the table, it's crazy. So I don't think I actually, this was just in this bag. I picked these up at the dollar store or Target. Probably maybe Target, because that's where the bag is from. I'm obsessed with buying the Crayola like early learning stuff. And then, so I'll say what they are real fast. This one is Spanish, early Spanish. And I think, I like I like to make copies of the pages and then have my kids do them or like preschool for preschool if you do preschool um phonics one practicing oh printing practice so they where they draw their letters i think we're gonna use this does crayola have burnt orange colored pencil silver chill maroon gold metallic green blue copper and bronze how about metallic orange so um that's a very good question. And I just did a blog post with their 150 colored pencils and they took out some of the metallics, but you can still get those separately. So I don't think they've retired them yet, but they're not in their 150. But you'd have to check on there. I'm not, like I deal with so many colors. I'm, I forget which color goes with which brand. So check on there, there's 150. I didn't memorize all of them, but check on there if I had the sheet in front of me. Um, I could look, but I don't have it with me right now. If I was downstairs, I had the box downstairs. As it would be nice to be downstairs, but the, the quality was horrible. Okay, beginning sounds. And I was like, if I need to put these online, I can't. Okay, we got colors and shapes. We have division, which is good. Then we have cursive practice. So... That is everything. That's a lot of unboxing today. Next week for the live, I will be getting the postcards. So I'm, I think I'm only getting one thing next week. I never know because sometimes I get different ones. 120 and 150 outer space are your favorite Crayola products. Yes, those are very nice. I don't have a box of outer space yet. Those ones are really hard to find. Um, so next week, and then I might be doing some organizing. So if I do organizing, I was hoping to like organize the shelves down there with you guys, but I can't do that because it's so bad down there. So I might eventually try to get like a booster down there, but it's kind of expensive. So I was just kind of waiting on that. But next week we'll organize some stuff. Like I have some paper that we can organize in color order next week. And then I can just take questions. So especially if you're a member or if you have a question um, next week, I can answer it too, especially if you ask the question beforehand uh, and say, hey, I'm gonna be at the live or when I do the live announcement, say, hey, these are my questions. And then that way I can get to you. How do we come up with the full set of 96 Sharpies? What sets? That's a good question. So how to get all the Sharpies? Um, there's 77 right now and then if you, well, if you count the, oh my gosh, my legs are going to sleep. Um, if you count the neon and the metallic, I believe there's 11 more. So then you would be up to like 
88. So you want to get the neon and metallic and then the 65 count box and then the portrait. That one's super easy. To get the ultra fine is a little bit more complicated. <coughs> I'd have to double check, but I think you get the 115 pack and then they don't make those. So there's not as many. They don't make those in portrait yet. Hopefully they will. Uh, and then you would get the Mystic Gems. You would get the Electro Pop or Color Burst, one of the two that has 34 in them. On my website, I have like a sheet that will tell you kind of what you need to get. There's a different ways to get them all, but there's cheaper ways. And I think it's getting the 115 count box. So then you will get some duplicates of the fine, but then you'll get all of the ultra fine if that's what you want to get. So, but it's super easy to get the fine ones right now because you just have to, on Blick, I can leave a link for the 65 count box. Right now, it's kind of expensive there, but it's the only place you can get it. Um, besides right now, there's a special promotion at Costco. Just the fines for good to me. Okay, so if you just want the fines, the fines are super easy to get. You just get the 65 count box. So Costco has that, or you can get that off of Blick. I think there might be a couple other places that sell the box. Um, maybe Amazon has it, but it's it's kind of pricey. But um, yeah, you're getting 65 markers and compared to some other markers, that's a pretty good deal for them. Uh, are there any last minute questions before we go? We have lots of post-its. I'm just like staring at post-it markers right now. I really want to do the video, but I can't. Uh, you got them, thanks. That is perfect. So then you probably have all of them. If you have the metallic and neons, uh, I said that you had the portrait also, you probably have all of them. Uh, do you guys have any other questions for me right now? Uh, any of the supplies we saw or just uh, any questions in general about art stuff? You're good, Jazz. It was nice to have you here and hang out. We're get, Like I said, we're going to be doing this like Hopefully like once a week, just like unboxing, organizing, so that way you guys can get in on it and I can kind of touch bases with you and see what kind of questions you have and you can hang up. Welcome to member. See, oh, you just joined. Awesome, thank you. Um, you signed up to be a channel member. So yes, and there's a special area of the, the, what, sorry, of the, what do they call it? There's a special area under community, and then I will especially see the members' questions in there, and you can ask them before the lives next week. So, and then you get access, if you're a member plus, to the swatch charts, and then you get even more access to other swatch charts if you're um, different levels of membership, but you guys can try that out. So, let me know any more questions. If not, we'll sign off here. Uh, I'm excited. I feel like I have so many supplies here. I don't know which ones to review next. It's hard. I buy all the supplies and I'm like, yeah, which one should I review? And they're, they just kind of sit there for a little bit until I get inspired to write a blog post or do a video about them. But let me know what you guys, any questions you have. All right. I don't see any questions, so I will see you guys next week. I do have a video coming out uh, soon. It's gonna be on uh, retired, like rare names of crayons and colored pencils from Prismacolor, Sharpie, Polychromos, and Crayola. And I'm putting that together as we speak. So hopefully you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.